So in this video, we are going to start with question one. And we'll start with question 1.1. So we are told that Mrs. Link ordered clothing items and received the invoice below. The invoice for purchasing of clothes. And before wasting any time, let's jump straight into our questions. So we are told to use the above information to answer the questions that follow. And we will start with question 1.1.1. One. So we are going to use the invoice that is provided to answer the questions that follows. So question 1.1.1 says that write down the name of the service provider. So if we look at our invoice, we can see that the name of the service provider is, is Canva. Meaning that our answer is going to be Canva. That's the name of the service provider. So now let's move to question 1.1.2 so question 1.1.2 says that calculate the value of a and if we check the value of a we can see that it is under the column of of price so if we look at our invoice we can see that we are given four columns so we have the first column which speaks to items so it gives us a list of items and the second column um, gives us the unit price and the third column gives us the quantity and the fourth column gives us the the price so we are told to calculate the value of a so to calculate the value of a we take the unit price which is 127 so we come and say 127 multiplied by by 4 and you will get the value of a so if we come and say 127 multiply by 4, we can see that the value of A is equals to 508. So now let's move to question 1.1.3. So question 1.1.3 says that define the term invoice. So an invoice is a document a seller gives to a buyer that shows what was bought how much it how much it costs and when the money must be paid so it's an um so we need to come and say invoice um it's a document The document a seller gives to a buyer. Uh, gives to a buyer that shows that shows what was bought how much it costs and when the money must be paid And when the money must be paid. Must be paid. So that's an invoice. So we are done answering question 1.1.3. And we will move to question 1.1.4. So question 1.1.4 says that determine the value of B. So to determine the value of B, we come and say 369 divided by 123. So 369 divided by 123. And the answer will be 3. Meaning that if you 
take 123 and multiply by 3 it should give you 369 which is the price of of floral cotton dress okay so now let's move to question 1.1.5 1.1.5 so question 1.1.5 says that write down the due date so to write down the due date we just have to go back to our to our invoice and if you check on the second last um second last sentence you can see that they wrote pay by meaning that the due date is the 5th of march so it is given on the invoice um on the left hand side um the second second sentence from down you can see that it said pay by which is the 5th of march 2024 so that's the due date so now let's move to our last question which is question 1.1.6 so let's just quickly create space for that now let's move to question 1.1.6 so question 1.1.6 is that convert the total amount of dollars to rent if one rand is equals to 0 0.053 dollars so what we need to do so we are told that one rand is equals to 0 0.053 so what we need to do we need to check how much one dollar is equals to in terms of rent so to do that, we come and say 1 divided by 0 0.053. So um, if we say 1 divided by 0 0.053, we will get 18.87. Point, 18 so this is how much $1 is equals to in terms of rent. So $1 is equals to? um one dollar is equals to 18 rand and 87 this is how much one dollar is equals to so we are told to convert the total amount in dollars and the total was 1000 so to convert it in to convert the 1000 into rands we just come in say 1000 1000 dollars multiplied by 18.87 rand and if we plug that on our calculator we will get 18.87 we will get 18,870 and that will be our our total in in rands 